We want to get right to the breaking news in Oregon, the weeks-long standoff between armed anti-government protesters and law enforcement turning deadly overnight. The leader and several members of that group are now under arrest. ABC's Neil Karlinski has the latest in Burns, Oregon for us. Good morning, Neil. Amy, good morning. A dramatic and sudden turn of events out here overnight with no warning. As a result, all of the group's leadership has now been arrested except for one armed rancher who was killed here by law enforcement overnight. This morning, a shootout between the armed occupiers of the Federal Wildlife Refuge in rural Oregon and police, including the FBI, has left one occupier dead and another wounded. Group leader Ammon Bundy and his brother were arrested in the shootout and could be seen handcuffed on the road. The armed militia seized control of this national wildlife refuge in early January, and they have occupied it ever since. Group spokesman Lavoie Finnegan was killed in the shootout during a traffic stop along a highway outside the compound. He spoke with George earlier this month. We have no intent of pointing a gun at anybody, but let's be clear here. Who's pointed guns at me? Who's pointed guns at Ammon? They have. Who said that we will shoot you? We never have. They have. Ranch supporters claim he was murdered in cold blood. His daughter saying the father of 11 had his hands in the air when he was shot. And they just unloaded on him and just shot him like a whole bunch of times. And they killed him. As a local hospital in the nearby town of Burns went on lockdown while treating one suspect, authorities said at least eight were arrested including an online blogger who supported the group. Women and children need to get out of there right now. And John Ritzheimer, famous for his online postings about being willing to risk everything in the standoff. Although nobody here will fire that first shot. The standoff, which was in its 24th day, had been mostly peaceful until now. But townspeople and Oregon's governor had expressed frustration the occupation had been allowed to continue so long. The big question now is what happens out at the Wildlife Refuge? People are still holed up inside there, and for the first time, law enforcement has a presence there as well. They've actually set up roadblocks now throughout the area. There was also a concern that Lavoie Finnicum could now be seen as a martyr. There was a great deal of anger here that he was killed at the hands of law enforcement. In fact, the group's Facebook page is filled with people posting about that. We'll continue to monitor the situation out here, Amy and George. All right, Neil Karlinski, thank you.